Hey, hello, grade 9. My name is Joy from Joy T Academy. Hey, you know this topic, right? So this is functions and relationships. What is going to happen here? You will learn how to get output values if you are given input values and learn how to get input values if you are given output values using the flow diagram tables formula and equation so stick around don't forget to like this video okay so let's just look at the flow diagram how to see these are the inputs these are the outputs all right so this is how the flow diagram looks like right so this side you are having the input this side we are having the output right so here you will have the rule inside the box though so this side this side is input and this side is output right so this is how you know the number that is this side of the uh, the flow diagram we call it input is a number that goes inside the rule and then think of the machine it's like the process this is input you put it inside whatever is happening here you get your answer out so in this case let me say maybe they say um multiply 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 what multiply the input the input by what by two okay what does this mean so inside you will have two so before this number goes out it will be multiplied by two all right let's say here we are having three right three is your input so as you can see the arrow is going inside which means the three is going to pass here so it's more like this is where the magic happens right what is going on inside the input which is 3 is going to be multiplied by 2 and then and that means 3 is no longer coming out as 3 anymore it will come out multiplied by 2 right so 3 times 2 is going to be 6 let's say they give another input here because it happens let's say this time they give you um, 7 so 7 multiply by 2 the answer will be 14 right now let's say this time they give you let's say they give you 10 here right so 10 will pass the rule the rule says you can't pass here without being multiplied so 10 times 2 is going to be 20 as you can see here the first input which means the first output the second input is equal to the second output the third input is equal to that output all right so you don't just mix them make sure if you use 10 as a first number your output should correspond right with 10 and then exactly and then the 3 and 6 and 7 and 14 okay okay let's try this example let's say they say complete the following uh flow diagram what's gonna do remember this is going to be your input right i forgot now this is going to be your output all right sometimes they put x here sometimes they put y here so you have to pay attention to that right so if you are given something like this you do the same thing remember this is your rule right they won't write it but you should know it this is your rule right so whatever you put inside whatever comes to this box inside it would go through this rule right the first thing is what the rule says the rule says you multiply the input by three and then you add one to the answer and then that is going to be your output right so three times three is nine plus one is going to be ten you see that uh -huh. 7 times 3 is going to be 21, right? Plus 1 is going to be 22, correct? Okay, now 30 times 3 is going to be 90, plus 1 is going to be 91. Do you see that? So, is it difficult? No, it's not difficult. Mm -mm, it's not. No, it's not difficult. Come on now. Right? It's the same thing as sometimes they want you to show all these work. So it's more like 3 times 3 plus 1. Then you get the answer, which is 10. 
now seven times um, three plus one is equal to 22 and then you say 30 times three plus one which is going to be 91 correct so this is what it means all right so come on give me the thumbs up if you think i do deserve it Okay, here is your 10. This one is your challenge, all right? As you can see this one, this one is more like a table, right? So you do the same thing. It's the same thing that we have done in flow diagram. The difference here is the table, okay? And the setting of it, right? Now, you can, as you can see here, it's an input. Input is X. X is inside, all right? That's when you put this X there, all right? For you to get... If x is 1, what is the y? If x is 2, what is the y? If x is 3, what is the y? And if x is 5, what is the value of y? So, that's what you do. This one is output. Output is more like an answer, okay? If you put x here, so what's going to happen? You get y is equal to, right? So, let's do that. So, how to do it? You say, okay, y is equal to 2. So wherever there is x, I put 1 plus this. All right? So this is going to give me y equal to 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is going to be 3. So, so when they say complete the table, what you do here, you put 3 here. Right? And then the next thing, we are using 2. 2 wherever there is x we put 2 and then a plus 1 so this is going to be 2 times 2 which is 4 and then a plus 1 is going to be 5 remember we are completing the table so 5 is coming here and then again this is just to show your work right 2 there is x there and then we put 3 plus 1 this is going to be what it's going to be 2 times 3 is going to be 6 plus 1 is going to be 7, correct? So we have 7 here. The last one is going to be 2 times 5 plus 1 is going to be equal to... 2 times 5 is going to be 10 plus 1 is going to be 11. So we have 11 here. So this is how you fill up or you complete your table, right? So they will give you a rule. Uh -huh. They will give you a rule. Your job is to know what is the input, what is the output. If it happens they give you uh, the output and then they want you to get the input, which means you take the value of y, you put it here where there is y, and then you solve for x. And then that's how you win the game. Okay, let's try to complete this table, right? So what if they say complete this? Remember, the rule is y is equal to 3x minus 1. So what are you going to do in this case? You start with the first input, right? Is 0. So you take 0. Wherever there is x, you put the input that you are working with, minus 1. So this is going to give you 3 times 0 is going to be 0 minus 1 will be negative one so this is your first uh -huh, output correct and then you are taking again now you are taking the second one right and then you say three into two minus one uh-huh and then the next one is or the next step is three times two is going to be six minus one and then that one is going to give you five right uh-huh and then we have five here this time around, we are looking for the input, okay? If y is 5, what is x, right? So we take the value of y, we put it in a place of y this time, and then we are having 3x minus 1, because y, we are looking for x this time. So we take this, um, so we take this one, is over like this so you take that negative one to this side is over plus one equal to 3x and then this is going to be 6 correct divided by 3x and then mm -hmm, now we are forced to divide by 3 because why we need x to be alone so divide by 3 both sides uh-huh 
and then we are having that 6 divided by 3 the answer is going to be mm -hmm, 2 now it's the same thing as you can see 2 is to 5 2 is to 5 so it's true that 2 is giving 5 in this rule correct and then Mm -hmm. Now, let's move on to the next one. We are going to use 7 as our input to get the output, which is y in this case. So, it's 3 into 7 minus 1, right? So, remember, 3 times 7 is going to be 21, minus 1 is going to be 20. So, this is our output in this case. And then, aha, now we are given 11. Mm -hmm. Let's say 11 now is our y equal to 3x minus 1, all right? So what is going to happen here? Um, we take that one to this side, so we are going to have 11 plus 1 equal to 3x, correct? And then what is going to happen again? We are going to add these two numbers, which will give us 12 equal to 3x uh-huh and then we are forced to divide by 3 again to get x alone uh-huh and then what is following is x to be equal to 4 our input here is going to be 4 so we are done uh, completing the table right if you think this video was really helpful was giving you the knowledge that you think you you want or for you need for you to pass please give it a like give it a like thank you so much for the support and please make sure that you support me by subscribing to my channel is going to be helpful in a long run and i'm happy you are here thank you even here in the formula they will give you the input and output so you will need to find one if they give you the input which means you are looking for the output if they give you the output which means you are looking for the input so formula actually it's a rule but it's written as equation right it's the same thing by the way you must have that in mind that we are doing the same thing but in different versions right so in this case let's say this is going to be your formula right what does this say this one is saying your output which is y is equal to 5 times input minus 3 right so the question here will be straightforward like negative 1 right find the output when x is equal to negative 1 what you're gonna do here you take this negative 1 you put it there all right the output is going to be okay so this is going to be negative 5 so 5 times negative 1 is negative 5 minus okay it's something like this let me do it okay so this is going to give you negative 8 right so this is going to be your output so you see we are doing the same thing here do you see that we are doing the same thing all right so let's move on Okay, so what about this one? They say find the input if the output is 7, right? We are following the same rule or the same formula, which is going to be, now the output we know is the answer or is the y, right? So y will be 7 equal to 5x minus 3. Now we need to solve for x. Remember, you take this 3 to the other side. So this side will have 7 plus 3 equal to 5x. Do you see that? Right? So this is going to be 10 equal to 5x. Because we need x to be alone, what we need to do? We need to remove that 5 by dividing um, by 5 both sides. This 5 will be removed by this 5. And then we are left with x alone, which will be equal to 10 divided by 5 is going to be 2. So this is going to be our input right so it's the same thing it's the same thing honestly speaking it's the same thing so please don't forget to like this video hey so what about equation it's the same thing like as a formula it's the same thing right so they would say if y is equal to 
2x, right, plus 6. And the, the output and the output is what? And the output is 14, correct? And then they would say find the out the, the what? The input. Come on, this sounds familiar. Do you see what is going on here? We are doing the same thing under different subtopics, equation, formula, um, table. This is the same thing, all right? Remember, the input is inside as x, as you can see. The output is the one that is outside alone, right? That is output is your answer. Okay, that one letter is your output. So, always the input is inside, is mixed with numbers. That's how I can give you a clue. So, it's 14 equal to 2x plus 6. Correct? So, from here, you know how to play this game now, right? So, we need this 6 to be that side because we need x to be alone, remember? So, it's going to be 14 minus to be negative. 2x. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. So this is going to be what? It's going to be 8 this side divided by 2. And now we are forced to divide by that 2. Why? We want to remove this 2 next to x because we need x to be alone. This is going to give us 4. Do you see that? Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Okay, guys, see you. Good luck with your exam.